Right, and Kyle, I heard you mention the magic word relief inside. Are, are we talking uh, 75, <laughs> uh, high dreaming. 70s, low 80s? Keep dreaming. Mid 80s. October is when we might see that again. <laughs> hey, let, you, still, you still keep going. <laughs> oh, 98. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm talking, you know, oh, uh, there may, we go. maybe a couple days below 100 <laughs> degrees. But you got to remember, it's the hottest time of the year. And, and, you know, we'll take whatever we can get. And there might be a pop up shower storm Kyle around. Kyle out here throwing crumbs. <laughs> What do you expect this time of year? You think it's <laughs> going to be out, sunny in 75? No, 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 no. No, no. It's something yeah. to hope for yeah. anyway. Because today was the hottest day of the year so far, we hit 103 for the afternoon high. So I thought we'd go back and let's look at the last 10 summers and see what the hottest temperature was for the summer of the last 10 summers. Of course, the hottest temp ever recorded at DFW is 113 back in 1980. This year, 103, that's what we've hit so far. We hit 110 last year. We actually did that uh, three times last year. We hit 110 degrees. 2022, we hit 109. That was the peak of the heat. 2021, not too bad, 102. 2020, 106. Let's go back even farther. 102 in 19, uh, 2019, 109 in 2018, 102 in 2017, 107 in 2016, and 106 in 2015. So you get the idea. Pretty much each and every summer, it's... 105 plus for the peak of the heat and so I do have us a degree or two hotter tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully that will be the hottest day of the summer and maybe it'll just be all downhill from here, from there or at least the rest of our triple digits won't be anything close to that. Heat advisory in effect for all of North Texas through at least tomorrow. An excessive heat warning for a few of our western counties. That's where the peak of the heat or the kind of the hottest temperatures will happen in North Texas tomorrow. Everybody obviously will be hot. I'm going to go 104 for a high. Not a record temp tomorrow, though, because the record's 107, set back in 1988, of course, with the humidity. The heat index so will definitely be in that 105 to 110 degree range. Chris and Joe, there you go. That's what I was talking about. There's your, there's your relief. 98 and 99 for the upcoming weekend. But it's better than just seeing triple digits across the board, right? It's better than nothing. Nothing happens during the day tomorrow except for that heat, as I talked about. But a disturbance moving overhead on Friday. Give us a little more cloud cover. And there actually could be a few pop-up showers and storms around the area. As kind of a weak front tries to slide down in here as well. Once again, it's not much, but it is something to kind of hope for. Quickly, let's check in on Debbie at the moment. Spinning just off the coast of South Carolina. An imminent second landfall in the U.S. The first landfall, of course, was back in Florida as a Category 1 hurricane. This will be as a tropical storm. It's winds of 60 miles an hour right now. It's just off to the east of Charleston, about to make landfall in South Carolina there. We'll continue to move up through the Carolinas, up through Virginia. Uh, Pennsylvania and then up into New England. Thankfully, moving a little bit quicker than what it's been doing over kind of near the Carolinas or just offshore of South Carolina, but still a good amount of rain headed to kind of the entire East Coast there the rest of the week and into the weekend. Of course, as we talked about, it does not affect our weather here. We're just light winds and muggy, 80 degrees for the high, light breeze tomorrow. It'll be hot and dry, obviously, 104 for the high with an ozone action day. 100 on Friday, 98. On a Saturday, 99 on Sunday, and it's back in the triple digits for back to school week, and we just kind of stay there at least through the middle part of August and maybe even into that third week of August.